Guys, I didn't want to have to say this, but Black Ops 4 is dying as we speak. Now this video isn't clickbait and this video isn't me hating on the game because as a matter of fact, this is one of my favorite Call of Duties I've ever played in a long time. It's definitely my second favorite Call of Duty, right behind Black Ops 2. I love Black Ops 4 to death. This is probably my second favorite Call of Duty, like I said, and it is so much fun. But if I'm being honest with you guys, Black Ops 4 could and possibly can be dying and it is potentially going to die if we do not see a change to what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now by, mo by no means am I saying that Black Ops 4 is a dead game, as a matter of fact this is one of the most popular Call of Duty's that have come out in the past three years. If not the most popular Call of Duty that's come out in the past three years, Black Ops 4 is killing it on Twitch. We have huge names like Shroud, Dr. Disrespect, and even Ninja playing Black Ops 4 from time to time. It's a very good game and in, in all honesty it's just a very good game. Like I love Black Ops 4 and I cannot wait to play it more and more through the year. But that doesn't mean that it has its issue and the biggest thing that I want to talk about could potentially be the downfall of this game and kill this game. Now what I'm talking about here is the black market, okay? So I've seen so much YouTubers complain about this. I've seen people like Prestigious Key, Nero Cinema, Optimus, everyone is complaining about the black market and if we don't see change to this black market, we could potentially see Black Ops 4 not being as high praised as it has been. And in all honesty, this is just killing the game in my opinion and in most other people's opinion. It's just a waste of money and it just feels sickening that Activision is doing this to people. It just doesn't make me feel good. So basically what it is, is the black market Alright, people have done the research, I'm not going to go ahead and whip out a calculator on this video, but if people have done the research that it takes upwards of 2 hours in real life time to actually level up a battle pass tier by 1 tier. Alright, it basically takes 55 in game minutes. If you do this in Blackout, yes it is faster, but if you just play the game normally, it's going to take you probably around 2 hours on average, you know, having to deal with like all the in game loading screens, in game, you know, pre game lobbies and stuff like that. 2 freaking hours. That's really ridiculous all right people have put in the math as well that it'll take you around eight to seven to nine days if you were to play this just to have to you know get to tier 200 in this battle pass which is a little ridiculous i don't know about you guys but i have a life i'm trying to grow here on youtube now i'm trying to take it way more serious here now and if i want to take it more serious i have to put some uh, some serious time into my videos now in order for me to do that, I can't be playing Black Ops 4 for like 8 hours a day just to get this battle pass upgraded. And oh, if you don't want to play that much, don't worry guys, Treyarch has got you covered. If you want to actually get to tier 100 easier and faster, all you gotta do is just give Activision and Treyarch 160 US dollars, 169 I believe to be exact. If you want to get to tier 100, or tier 200 right now, all you gotta do, simply put in your credit card information, get to tier 200, pay 166 dollars to get up there right now. It is just absolutely ridiculous why they would even charge that much for in-game crap. All right, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. Some of the stuff is pretty cool, like the unicorn gun, like the um the GKS unicorn variant is super sick. The ICR variant, super sick. The the actual gun variants themselves are really really cool. If we can compare the gun variants to something, it would make more sense to compare the actual gun variants to skins in Fortnite. That's basically what these are, because we can't actually see our character, so it doesn't really make any sense. So the only real thing that we can see is actually our gun variants. So if you think about it logically, the gun variants are basically the equivalent to skins from Fortnite. Treyarch has come out and said that they do plan on adding stuff like boosters as well as challenges to help you level up this battle pass faster, but those aren't in the game yet. You know, we've had this battle pass for almost a week or two now, and we haven't even seen those boosters even like teased or hinted at by Treyarch or Activision, which has led me to believe that they aren't going to be coming anytime soon, but we don't even know. I was hoping we would see them last week's update on the 1.4 update, but like I said, we haven't seen those boosters in this game yet, so it's kind of disappointing. The good thing with Fortnite though is that you actually do, you know, you can do challenges to level up your battle pass, and it does not take a ridiculous amount of time. I don't know what levels up the Fortnite battle pass, but I can definitely tell you it's not in-game time, alright? It's definitely not in-game time. I think it's XP, or it's the battle stars, it's the battle stars, let me tell you that, it's the battle stars. And you get that through leveling up as well as just you know doing challenges and stuff which is way better than this all right let me tell you if they actually implement a proper upgradable you know system like crypto keys you know say if you get like like in fortnite say if you get like 10 crypto keys you can level up it'd be super super good because say if you level up you get five crypto keys or maybe you know 10 crypto keys that'd be really really good for leveling up your tiers obviously it wouldn't be what Treyarch wanted but then again it's 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 good because there's 200 tiers to this battle pass guys it's ridiculous 
this. I feel like they should make it go by leveling instead of this, you know, stupid in-game time because if they went by leveling, it would actually make it so that you can level it up faster and it, what they could do to compensate is add more, you know, like less days to the actual event, you know what I mean? So like, instead of making it like the 50 days that it is right now, or like the 40 days, make it actually like, like a month maybe, you know, like a month and a half or something like that. I know it's a month and a half right now, but make it like at least like 25 days per event or something like that and then make it faster to level up. It would make people feel like they're upgrading and that they're actually getting more for less, which is in theoretically, you know, it's good. It's good. That's what they need. Because right now it feels like you're playing all this time for garbage, which you theoretically are. Because half the stuff in here isn't good. There's only like three weapon variants you can actually get. I know there's some in the actual reserves, but if I'm being honest here, supply drops are better. All right, supply drops are way better than what they have in this current black market. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the black market is all terrible as you do get stuff for free but then again in supply drops you also did get stuff for free too so it's just really annoying to see how they're doing this to their game and in all honesty i would have liked to see it a lot better hopefully those boosters come out really soon in the next update or the next hotfix whenever but it's just really annoying seeing black ops 4 go down this route of just being so cash cow money hungry this game did so well it got like 500 million dollars in the first weekend and according to investors that's not good enough because i don't even know and the stocks for Activision if for Call of Duty dropped, I believe it was, back when this game first launched because it made $500 million. I don't see how that's so bad. I don't know why their stakes were so high. It's Call of Duty now. They're competing against Fortnite, so I understand why their stakes are so high. But at the end of the day, this game still did extremely well and still one of the best Call of Duty's to ever come out. Well, like I said, if they don't fix their battle pass, this game could potentially be going downhill soon. It's just an anti-consumer move and it's just not fun for the consumer at all and they need to fix it because I'm not a very big fan of it. So honestly Call of Duty, you only have to get this stuff together. It's not fun. It's not good. It's not really, it's not good for the consumer whatsoever. And I seriously do feel like they need to fix it sometime soon. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy and if you guys did feel informed, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm not going to ask for likes or anything, but comment how you guys feel about this. And honestly guys, just subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more Call of Duty content. I'm going to try and get a lot more into Blackout. I've been Love with Battle Royale as it is right now. I'm gonna be recording a ton, a ton, a ton of Blackout here soon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, guys.